Squarespace have been really busy, as usual, adding new features to the navigation bar up top. And I realized I hadn't done a bit of a deep dive on this. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to add pages into your navigation, how to then customize the navigation and add elements into that navigation. What I mean when I talk about the header is the header across you know, the whole website. So let's jump in and I'll show you how to customize that header navigation. The first thing that we need to do, I mean, we can see the, the header up here. If you want to change the content of it, we need to go into pages. And then we need to make sure that everything in the main navigation is what we want in here. So for instance, if I don't want story to be in the main nav, I can drag that out into not linked. If I want home to be up at the top, which will be furthest left, then I drag it in and you can see it in here. Now, login is a little bit different. So if we go into edit, this is where we can actually edit that main navigation or that header navigation. So we click into edit, Give this a quick refresh and we can see edit site header here so i'm going to click on this and we have a few different options we've got the site title and logo which we'll start off with if we click on this and click this then you can see we can change the site title and upload the logo and we can have a different mobile logo if then if we go across to the navigation we can move things about and if i click show pages it's the same thing it will just take us to the pages that does the same thing. I don't get why they've done that, but each to their own, I'm sure it's useful for some people. Then we have design. So if we click edit design, we can see, okay, the layout, you can play around with these like so. I quite like this, but it doesn't work on this site. If you can see like the left aligned text, that looks a bit weird, but you can cycle through these, you know, whether you want the logo above or whether we just want to keep it as it was. You can change the link spacing and the element spacing. So we'll come onto elements in a moment. Then effect, so you can stick a drop shadow on. Um, you can probably see it here, actually. Again, it doesn't work, but you can uh, in this instance, but you can put that on. So back into design, I'm going to take that off. So drop shadow and remove. Then we go down, we can do a border. So we can put a border all around it or one side, multiple sides. It's completely up to you. Change then the thickness of this and the color. But again, I'm going to remove it because I don't think it looks good on this example. Fixed position, do you want to keep it in place as the page scrolls? And then the header style. So scroll back, if I keep that on, you can see if I actually uh, save this. It goes down like this and then it snaps when you stop. So you see it snaps away. I've never liked that one personally, but again, each, each to their own. So design, then we can change the height and the width. So do you want it to be... Uh, full width or inset. I always think inset works well because it works within the same margins of the sections. So that's done. You can then change the color. So adaptive is going to adapt to the first section beneath the header. So what color is that? It's going to take on the style of that. You can add a gradient in, or you can give it a solid color and then play around with that. I'm going to keep this on adaptive. Now, finally, we've got elements. So if I click on add elements, you can see login, so account is already on. We can toggle that off if we want to get rid of it, like I said before. Then you can add a button in. You can add your social links. You can add a cart if you've got an e-commerce site account and then language switch. So this will take you onto Weeglot, which is a multilingual language plugin for Squarespace. But in this case, I'm not going to use it because that's a different video altogether. Now, once you're happy, you can customize these. So if I were to click on this, you can see I can add social links. I can also move them about like so, and I can get rid of them as well, like so. If I want to change the button, I'd click on this. I can change the link within like this. And then if I go into this, I can change the design as well. So I can switch it between my different button styles. And if you want to change those button styles, click on the brush inside styles, go into buttons and you've got three different button styles that you can customize in here. So without going on too much of a tangent, that is how you edit your site navigation on Squarespace. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.